So we're going to move on to a question I get all the time, which is like introducing them to like a top knot pillow or getting their top knot done. Now a top knot pillow doesn't really have to be a top knot pillow. Like this is a little one that has obviously like a little tiny chin rest. I thought it was cute. I bought it for him. It could be a hand towel that's rolled up. It can be a little tiny bolster pillow that you buy, you know, from the, the pillow section at the store. It can be anything that they rest their towel on. It can be a roll of paper towel, whatever works for them to rest their chin on so that it's at a comfortable height for you to get at their top knots, right? And really there is no secret sauce to getting this done. Um, I might have a cookie in here that might make this, oh look, there's a cookie. He's quite food motivated, but you know, not so much on the table after this grooming session. So what I want him to do is, first of all, I want him to understand like, you know, basically he's more interested in the food. And so I'm just gonna kind of bring him up to this top knot pillow. And then I'm just gonna lay him down. And <laughs> you know, it's not science, right? Um, come on, buddy. Here's your little pillow. Here's the little cookie. And there we go. Like he's just like eating his little cookie on his little top knot pillow. And this is just like getting him used to the action of doing it. Now I think probably that piece was a little too big. He's gonna take an hour to eat it, but that's fine. Like he's sitting here right around his little top knot pillow, having a little snack, laying down and we're happy to have him do it. So the other thing is, when is it a good time to start top knotting him? Well, you know, now. I think he has enough room in his little head to put a little rubber band in, so let's get him used to it. But of course we have to wait for him to finish eating this cookie. That's completely fine. Apparently that's the chewiest piece of dog bait any toy poodle has ever seen. I need that little piece because that could take another week. All right, so now we have this top knot pillow. Again, we kind of, um, oh, he has part of it in his fur, get rid of that. All right, no, it's all gone, buddy. So maybe that cookie was a bit of a mistake because now that's all he wants to think about. No, you're fine, good boy. Here you go, you ready? Lay down, good boy. And put our little pillow there, and there we go. What a good boy, I know. Again, we want to talk to him, good boy. Good boy, you ready? Down again. Down again. You're fine. You're fine. Boop, 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 boop. Just remember, you are the boss. This could be a win. You're fine. What a good boy. What a good boy. Now, getting down at their level means that he can look at the top knot pillow. He's really looking for that cookie, so maybe don't give him a cookie. Um, although this worked when I did it last time. All right, so here we go. And we just want to really put two little horns i call them horns at this stage just so he gets used to those elastic obviously we have to um comb it putting his head in the thing now i just want to make one little part kind of behind his eyes nope you're fine like i said it's not a science you're just gonna make that part <laughs> and laugh because this is really how the training actually does go then you want to divide these two little horns in half in this little section right above his eye, getting that pillow there. And obviously we're not waiting for this to be perfect. Good boy. Ready? Put your little head. Ah, oh, that was really good. Yes, good boy. And he wants to lick my hand. And here we go. He put his one, only three times around with the rubber band. What a good boy. What a good, actually you're being really terrible, but we have to tell you that you're being good. Yay! Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Maybe this time his owner can be a little bit prepared with that rubber band ready to go. Because really it did take me way too long for that first section. And then we want to go around three times with the puppy basically doing acrobatics in my hand. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Good boy. Now we want to pull this so that he has his tube. Okay. So um, this lesson could maybe be better called how not to train your poodle to put his head in a top knot pillow, but really this is sometimes how the training actually goes. Look, your little head's in the pillow. And maybe, no, because it, it has to be our idea that he gets up. No, you have to wait. You have to just be good for one second. Good boy, ready? Put your head in the pillow, not beside the pillow. You ready? Put your head in the bear. What? Stay. What a good boy. You're being a really good boy. 
something like really big boy, really big boy, and then give them the command. Ready? 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 Okay. Up, 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 up. And that is how an actual real top knot pillow training session goes. And you know what? Next week it could be entirely differently, but we did end up on a win with his little head on the pillow. And you can look at his little top knot horns. This is literally what my first top knot looks like. It's just like a little tiny section over each eye and I divide it in half. And this is just to get him used to the idea of having rubber bands um, in the top of his head. This may or may not last all week. I may or may not replace it if he does try to rub it out. I will, however, correct him from rubbing it out. So if I see him scratching or rubbing at it in any way, I will say no and try to distract him with a toy or a treat or something like that. So this is top knot lesson number one during week two of our grooming training. Hi guys, thanks for joining us for our latest Leading Edge Dog Show Academy tutorial. Don't forget to go to leadingedgedogshowacademy.com to see some of our premium content and webinars where we go in depth on grooming, training, and so much more. Of course, we would love for you to like and subscribe so you don't miss another video here on YouTube. And if there's something that you would like to see that you haven't yet seen on our YouTube channel, of course, just drop it in the comments below and we'd be more than happy to bring you that content. So once again, I'm Allison from Leading Edge Dog Show Academy and I really, really hope that you enjoyed today's tutorial.